so this is a problem of simple pendulum which we have already solved using energy method now we are trying to solve the same problem using um, the Newton second law of motion okay so what you have over here is a simple pendulum of mass m connecting uh, suspended with a through a rod l and this rod is massless that's the assumption so the only mass is of that of the bob okay and even the shape of the bob is not taken into consideration so what you have is uh, j0 that is the moment of inertia can be equals to m l square okay now newton second law of motion uh, in uh, translational motion is written as sum of the forces equals to mass into acceleration acceleration can be written as m a or x double dot okay uh, or in terms of rotational motion this is written as sum of the moments equals to i or j0 in our case times theta double dot which is the angular acceleration okay so the theta is the counterclockwise moment of the um, of the bob or the simple pendulum okay so what's going to happen is this counterclockwise moment will uh, mo movement of this arm will generate a moment and uh, the moment will be equals to the force that is the weight of this bob times the moment arm which is distance so let's say this distance is distance x okay so some of the moments will be equals to uh, w times x equals to j0 theta double dot okay since a uh, counterclockwise is positive for us so the acceleration is positive whereas uh, the moment due to this uh, this weight is going to be negative okay because this is going to go clockwise so what you have is j0 theta double dot plus you take this on the right hand side uh, what you'll end up with is w is mg okay and distance x equals to 0 right now let's see uh, how we can solve this problem so we have to find the expression for x now so what is x x is <clears throat> this distance over here if you just look at the trigonometry you can write x as equals to l times sine theta uh, but for small angles okay if, uh, theta is very very small you can say that sine theta will be equals to theta approximately right so what you'll end up with is j0 theta double dot plus mg l theta okay equals to zero right and you know that j0 equals to ml square as written over here so what you end up with is theta double dot plus mg l divided by ml square times theta equals to zero right so you can cancel out uh, the l terms and then the m terms so you will have g, g over l as the coefficient right now if you compare this with the characteristic equation of uh, vibration uh, that characteristic equation is x double dot plus omega n square x equals to zero for an undamped system uh, single degree of freedom so if you compare this equation with the equation that we have derived you will know that omega n square equals to g by l in other words omega n will be equals to square root of g by l 
so this is the same expression that was derived uh, for this problem of simple pendulum using the energy method this time we have used the newton second law of motion in the rotational coordinates okay so yeah i mean uh, this was the problem thank you